Yes, I understand that you refused to be a lab partner in biology with Beth Milford. Do you have a problem with her? No, I don't have a problem with her. I just hate her guts. <laughs> okay, so no problem. <laughs> Why don't you want to be a partner? It's very important who you associate with, Miss Richmond. I mean, sometimes people you're seen with, even as early as second period, can reflect poorly on your entire lunch. <laughs> You don't have to tell me that. I lived in Los Angeles. I mean, out there, it's all about who you're seen having lunch with. Unless, of course, you're in a drive-thru, and then it's about what you're driving. <laughs> I once tried to get an extra value meal in a rented Kia, and they asked if I wanted to supersize my car. <laughs> my car. <laughs> Supersize. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you don't even know Beth. Well, Penny says she's a real geek. Oh, Penny says. Well, so what? That, I, that's one person. I don't care if she's hated by five pennies, or what I like to call a nickel. <laughs> Does that make any sense? <laughs> Penny, sense? It's <laughs> a tough office. So just return the magazines to the janitor's closet and no questions will be asked. <laughs> also, a reminder, that there are still some tables available for the school fundraiser. This year's fundraiser will be held at the Clark Roller Rink, and the proceeds will go toward paying off last year's fundraiser at the ice skating rink. <laughs> Even if you don't want to skate, please keep in mind that Mr. Carnook still hasn't taken any skating lessons, so there will be entertainment. <laughs> and now, Miss Richmond would like to lead everyone here in a state-mandated moment of silent reflection. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Rich. It was nothing. <laughs> wax the floors? No, I'm just doing a little promotion for the big party. I fashioned these skates myself out of a pair of easy spirits and some old couch casters. And what are you making your crutches out of? Me. So, Ellen, how about going to the rink with us? Oh, all right. <laughs> Great, because we're all chipping in to buy a table in the silver section. It's next to the bronze section, but it's closer to the snack bar. That's fine. <laughs> So, what'd you think of that girl, Vanessa? You know, she's Rita Carter's daughter. You remember Rita? She was the most popular, hottest girl in school. Of course, she wouldn't give me the time of day. But, you know, in her defense, the only question I ever asked her was, do you know what time it is? Yeah. <laughs> well, that makes sense. She's Rita's daughter. Wow, Vanessa's just like her mother, stuck up and elitist like all those cheerleaders. Well, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Head off to Homec and make yourself a helmet. <laughs> Somebody there knows CPR. That's <laughs> too bad. I wanted to see a movie with you, Mom. What about you, Catherine? Oh, I've got Midnight Madness at the dress barn, and that won't be over till at least 9 a.m. <laughs> oh, you're funny. <laughs> Why don't you just do something with your friends? Uh, two reasons, actually. One, I don't have any friends. And uh, two, no, just the one reason. <laughs> 
Ellen, you have plenty of friends. In L.A. Give them a call. You know, you sound like a crow sometimes. <laughs> Here. Everybody left when I did. What about Jim McDuffie? He never left town. He never left his room. He's agoraphobic. <laughs> Walt Tenders. Prison. <laughs> Bob Ornoff. Walt Tenders killed him. <laughs> Which, by the way, was around the time that Jim McDuffie stopped leaving the house. <laughs> Actually, since I've been back, I haven't met any new people, and the people who stayed here haven't changed. Well, you don't know that. Well, perfect example. Rita Carter's daughter came in to see me in my office the other day. She's just like her mother. Remember? Cheerleader thought she was the center of the universe. The girl who was too good for you? Yeah, you mean she acted like it? No, I mean she was. <laughs> she was a cheerleader after all. I didn't like her. She'd never invite you to anything. Just because you weren't one of the cool girls. I could have hung out with them. I just chose not to. Well, sure, because of the insults. <laughs> oh, before I forget. <laughs> wow. Rita Carter is coming into your office? How do you feel about seeing Rita again? This is not about seeing Rita. This is about her daughter. I have an obligation as a professional to inform a mother of a student that her daughter has turned into a snooty, snotty, stuck-up snob like her snotty mother. Yeah. So when's she going to be here? Is she going to sit in that chair? Or in the filing cabinet. I haven't worked the details out yet. I guess you're eager to see her. Oh, eager's not the word for it. Well. I'm going to go hide. <laughs> Hello? Oh, my God, Ellen, it is you. I'm Rita. Rita Carter? Uh, and then move my 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock, and then the 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock, and then uh, the, the, move the lunch to the dinner. And fix the intercom. <laughs> so, uh, Riva. Uh, no, Rita. <laughs> I'm Vanessa's mom. We went to school together. Oh, yes, now. OK, I'm sorry. I'm putting it together now. That makes perfect sense, because Vanessa has been acting like... Yeah, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I have followed your entire career. You won the Spread Your Wings Award. Oh, well, that was just given for excellence. But... <laughs> Didn't you run, like, three dot-coms? Four, actually. This is what Newsweek said about me. But... <laughs> Here's my little press kit. You can just take that home. I'm not going to talk about myself. I just hope that Vanessa is not falling into the same trap that I did when I was in high school. You know, you think you know everything. You think you have all the answers. Well, yeah. You know, kids will be kids. Everybody makes mistakes. I know I sure did. Can you believe I ended up married to Wade, the quarterback? And then, of course, divorced from Wade, the waterbed warehouse trainee. <laughs> Now I'm just looking for a decent guy with a job. <laughs> Thank you, Rusty. <laughs> Do you remember Katie and Joanne? Uh, yeah, well, you were all cheerleaders, so I didn't really hang out with that crowd. Yeah, by choice, I could have tried out if I wanted to. I was pretty good at spelling Clark. <laughs> but, but I was busy with, you know, more important things, loftier things, like reading or working on my loft. I did not get to know you well enough in high school. That was really my loss. No, actually, it was your... Oh, that's what you just said. <laughs> well, that's nice of you to say. Hey. If you're into reading, Katie and Jojo and I have a book club. We would love to have you join us. <laughs> wow, well, that's, uh, you know, yeah, maybe I could uh, free up a night or something, you know? We were supposed to do it tonight at Coco's, but she's having her closets professionally reorganized. Coco, so you're speaking of the gorilla now? <laughs> no, that's what we call Katie. Oh, because I know that the other Coco can read. Uh, <laughs> Sure. You know, we can have the book.
book club at my house if you want. Oh, that would be great. That sounds like a date. Um, I'll drop off the book. Okay, well, uh, let me give you my address. Oh, that's okay. We know where you live. We used to toilet paper your house. Oh. <laughs> 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 wow, she is still a major fox. <laughs> Probably still a snob, huh? I don't know. I think she realizes she made some mistakes in high school. She's gonna have her book club at my house tonight. You know, you should come by. You should ask her out. Oh, man, no way. No way, no way. I, I, I can't. What if she says no? I'd be devastated. No, I'm telling you, I just talked to her. I don't think she's gonna say no. She said she wanted to meet a nice guy. Yeah, but there's a difference between wanting a nice guy and, you know, cracking open a can of Rust-Oleum. <laughs> I don't even want to know what that means. <laughs>
Well, you got him up there, didn't you? So you can just find a way to get him down. Oh, that was good. I wanted to firm up the seating arrangement for the roller rink. I was thinking we should go boy, girl, boy, girl, and then Rusty. Um, yeah, you know, about that, I, I actually, I think I'm going to be uh, sitting with some friends. And I'm not your friend. No, I didn't mean it that way. No, no, I'm agreeing with you. I'm not. <laughs> no skin off my ass. I'm gonna be drunk either way. Uh... Hey, Ellen, guess what? Uh... I'm so glad you stopped me from making a fool out of myself last night. I'm okay. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna ask Rita out at the roller thing. You know, they got the disco ball and the cups of wine. It'll be way more romantic. Who knows, maybe they can play the theme from Titanic. Yeah. Listen, I don't know if this is the right match for you. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. I, you're a wonderful guy. What, she doesn't like wonderful guys? Yeah, that's it. Yes. Um, you know, I mean, you had the flowers, and I thought, well, that's not the right approach for this one, because she likes jerks. Yeah? Yeah. Got it. Loud and clear. Rusty, you're going to meet the right girl someday, and you're going to know it when you look in her eyes. <laughs> it's still not me. I was just checking. <laughs> oh, look at this guy trying to skate. He could sign up for the roller nerdy. <laughs> oh, come on, he's just a freshman. It shows. Hey, so who wants to go skating? Oh, me. me. I gotta plot out my routine. Oh, come yeah, on. no, I, I don't know if I'm gonna do a Lutz or a Camel or a Kent Ultralight. I don't know. I gotta plot, so. Okay. See ya. Look, I can't stay long. I snuck over from the silver section. But what's the deal? What do you mean? You're trying to keep them for yourself? No, I'm not. Now you're in with the popular clique, and I'm out in the cold. Ellen. You've changed since you started hanging out with them. That's not true. And, Rusty, you should ask yourself why you're always attracted to women who are unavailable. It's my base, Ellen. <laughs> if I turn my back on unavailable women, I got nothing. Listen, I meant what I said. I just don't think you're her type. Fine. Then you're not the only one who can change. Wait. inevitable and I know it's inevitable so let's just cut to the chase you're all woman I'm all man well not all men these are women's skates but that's just because they didn't have my size I have a very narrow foot truth be told somewhat delicate ankles but the rest of me is all man Get out there. <laughs> Hello, little girl. Listen, I need to get by. My father said I can't let go. Oh. Yeah, I just talked to your father, and he said you could just for a little tiny second. Nuh-uh. Young lady, I'm sitting at the platinum table. Trust me. Yeah, huh? <laughs> Rusty, Rusty, what just happened? Rusty. Rita, what just happened? Oh, my God, I wish you could have heard Rusty. He shifted into turbo dork. He acted like he was some kind of a bad boy trying the direct approach. He is such a loser. A loser? He's not a loser. He's a warm, kind, decent guy. But you wouldn't know that because you never left high school. I mean, I never left either, but that's because they're paying me. <laughs> Plus, I get three months off in the summer, and most days I'm out of there at 4.30, which is nice. And get this, we have an optical plan. It's not great coverage, and frankly, the selection of frames is not that stylish, but that's none of your business. You've completely lost me. You should be ashamed of yourself. No, I should be ashamed of myself. 
like to skate off triumphantly, but I'm afraid I need a push. Too hard, too hard. <laughs> so how'd we do on the fundraiser? Best year yet. We only lost $300. <laughs> Mr. Munn keeps hitting the cash bar, we might just break even. <laughs> hey, Mr. Chen. This is Beth. Oh, Beth from Science Lab. Hey, you look like you're having fun. Yeah, we're having a blast. <laughs> well, see there, you get to know somebody, there might be more to them than you thought. Yeah, you know, we really have a lot in common. We both hate Judy. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, Pam. I thought you'd never come around again. Sure you want to be seen with me? Sure it'll be okay with your popular friends? They're not my friends. I was wrong about them. They wanted to be friends with me because they thought I made them look cool. Boy, I'm wrong. I got you. I got you. You want some cornbread? Uh, yeah, that sounds great. Okay. All right, you let go and okay. I'll... Okay, all right, I got it, I got it. Okay. Um, get a little push. Can, we, can you help us, please? Okay. Whoa! Oh, 